Okay, it's been about uh, 20 minutes or so since I recorded my last video. We're starting to really see that eye wall come in now. Look at this. Oh, you hear that now. Boy, I don't think I've ever uh, seen winds quite like that before. Boy, look out there. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's blowing sideways here. We are really seeing it now. You see the flooding there in my yard. Everything just kind of the ponding right there. Wow. Uh oh. Okay. Lost power. Uh oh. Not good. Okay. Well, it came back up. <laughs> That's what I've been seeing pretty much all night long. Okay. So here we are at about uh, 4:10 in the morning now on Wednesday, September the 16th, 2020, and I'm just here in the Oval Office. And uh, you know, you saw the, that little video footage I just shot from uh, outside. And uh, yeah, starting to hear the winds howling. I mean, I can hear it right outside the window here. And I, I can hear the rain, you know, actually hit the window every once in a while. It's almost like uh, somebody, you know, is on the other end, you know, taking a water hose and squirting it right at the glass. That's kind of what it, what it sounds like. And I hear that every once in a while. And, um, you know, it's, uh, it's just kind of a, well, I wouldn't say really a scary situation. I guess it could be. But uh, it's an uneasy situation when you, uh, you know, know that you got like, uh, you know, close to 100 mile per hour winds right outside your door. And uh, the storm has actually increased since I talked to you last. I talked to you at midnight was when I recorded that uh, last video. And uh, like I said, it's about 10 after 4 now. And since um, I talked to you last, the uh, storm has actually increased. Uh, I think the latest winds now are like 105, I believe. So it's back up to a Category 2. And it could strengthen even more before this is all over with. I mean, we just don't know. This storm has been just so unpredictable. And that's the thing about these hurricanes. Canes, that's what happens. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, document this and kind of give you guys an idea on what it's like. I know a lot of you have never been through a hurricane before, and, you know, I've even had people ask me, you know, you know, if I could ever document one, if we ever have one come through. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to do right now. Now, I am one of the lucky ones who still has power, but I don't want to jinx that. But my power has kind of, uh, you know, flickered on and off every once in a while, but it's only been off for like maybe 30 seconds at a time. So I've been you know, watching Facebook and have seen some of my friends that live here in Pensacola. They, a lot of them said they've already lost power, and I've been watching the news. They said a lot of, a lot of areas are without power tonight, or this morning rather, and uh, they've already uh, been reporting a lot of debris on the roadways, a lot of flooded roadways, that kind of thing. So, you know, we're just trying to uh, monitor the situation and, uh, you know, just do the best that we can. So... Um, yeah, I'll, I'll just keep continue to keep you guys updated and keep uh, recording these videos just kind of give you an idea on what's going on, so I'll check back in with you soon. Okay, about uh, 4.35 in the morning right now. And uh, really just had a huge, huge gust just come through here just a second ago. And it's kind of calmed down just a little bit right now. But uh, yeah, still got power, thank goodness. But um, we're watching on TV. It's uh, it's pretty bad in a lot of a lot of other areas. Talking about people's houses shaking and stuff. I really haven't experienced that too much. But uh, yes, yeah, uh, like I said, it's kind of calmed down just a little bit right now. I think it'll probably pick up here in just a little bit. Like I said, the eye wall is starting to come in. And we're getting ready to get the worst of it here in just a little bit. Okay, we're looking at my backyard right now. <laughs> you can hear the winds howling. Heard something slam. One of my chairs just got picked up over there that I had out there. Alright, so here we are at uh, almost 10 after 5 in the morning now. This thing's really moving slowly, that's for sure. Look at that. And this is something you just definitely would not want to be out driving in, that's for sure. All right, here we are, 5.30 in the morning now. And I just got word that um, Hurricane Sally officially made landfall at 4.45 this morning. So the center actually officially made landfall about uh, 45 minutes ago over Gulf Shores, Alabama. But as you can see, that doesn't mean anything as far as uh, you know us being out of the storm because this is the uh, eye wall right here. The strongest part that we're probably gonna see here in Pensacola right now. Look at that. You hear that howling? That's what I've been hearing pretty much all uh, 
all morning long. And I've been uh, hearing reports of some, uh, actually some of my Facebook friends have already said they got water in their houses. And something you definitely don't want to take lightly, that's for sure. Ooh, you hear that gust? Wow. I wish I could gauge what the what these winds are right now. Look at that, look at that rain blowing sideways there. Mm -hmm. There's trees over there. All right, here we are just after 6 a.m. Now look at this. Still got the eye wall moving in right now. It's really moving slow, too. I saw our local meteorologist uh, say that I um, probably got at least another couple more hours are going to be in the worst of it. So, yeah, not, uh, not good. All right, 6.25 right now in the morning. And we can't necessarily say that the sun's coming up. We can just say that it's actually starting to get daylight, but... Uh, Wow, look at this. See this water ponding right here at my house. Wow. Look at that, look at that rain just blowing sideways like that. Hmm. Okay, well here we are now at 6.30 in the morning and I've lost power. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know, I figured it would be too good to be true for me to keep power throughout this whole storm. I don't know, hopefully it'll come back up here soon. It's been you know, kind of flickering on and off. Uh, all night long, so we'll just have to see what happens with that. But uh, what I'm talking to you right now is I got this little portable light right here. So the good thing is, though, at least uh, you know if I'm going to lose power, at least right now as it's starting to get daylight, that's probably the best time. At least it didn't go out like at midnight or something like that, and I have to be without power all night long. But uh, yeah, that's never fun losing power. And my computer's still on right now because it's running off of battery power. But uh, I'll probably have to cut it off here just a little bit. But yeah, you know, it's, uh, it is what it is. You just deal with things like this. So I'll keep updating you and uh, we'll uh, take, a, take a look outside once it gets daylight, once we get a little bit more uh, light out there. Hopefully I'll get power back here soon. We'll just have to wait and see.